bitches! Yes! Yes! Screw you guys! I'm going home! Hey folks, Crazy Glamour 80 here again, and we're going to look at some uh, requests for a little bit. Uh, this one in particular is called Load Runner, The Bungling Strikes Back, or Load Runner 2, The Bungling Strikes Back. This was created by IREM in 1984. It is the uh, second Load Runner, uh, Load Runner arcade game in the uh, Load Runner series, and Load Runner had been a uh, very, very popular puzzle uh, computer game and it also had a an NES port later on but a very 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 difficult series and this game uh, I think might not have been released in America I had certainly never seen it before but the gist of the entire load runner series is you control this guy trying to collect all the gold in a stage and there are various monsters out to get him and he can dig a hole to his left or to his right below him and make the monsters fall in and the hole will eventually fill itself in the monsters will automatically kill you if they touch you and you will die if you uh, get trapped in your own hole or get trapped in a hole that you can't get out of and you'll also uh, lose a life if you run out of time and we'll go ahead and get started this is the uh, first level, and there are a total of 30. Now, some of the monsters can pick up the gold and carry it, and you'll see them flashing if they have gold. And uh, if you make them fall into a hole, they will drop that gold, and you will be able to pick it up. Don't forget that you can walk over a monster if it's fallen into a hole. And if you uh, have three monsters fall into a hole at once, then when you walk over all their heads, you will get a special bonus. And you will get a bonus for time remaining. Now, the time remaining has a, a color bar. It starts out as blue, and then it goes to yellow as it starts to really dwindle. And when it's almost out, it turns red. You will get double the time bonus if it's in yellow, and triple the time bonus if it's in blue when you complete a level. And to complete a level, all you have to do is get all the gold. But the puzzles get harder and harder as you get further in the game. Once you uh, get all the gold, then a final ladder or two will appear and uh, let you go straight up through the top of the screen where you will end the level. There will be uh, uh, certain solid color uh, floors that you cannot dig a hole through. That's all you have to do to uh, finish the stage, get all that gold. And again, remember, if, uh, if an enemy is flashing, they have captured a little bit of gold, and you'll need to uh, make them fall into a hole to make them drop it, and you can pick it up. You cannot uh, dig a hole under an enemy that's already standing over that ground. You have to dig a hole a little bit ahead of time. They've all got uh, gold. Do not, do not fall into an area that you cannot get out of, like that area at the bottom right, 
there's an enemy there waiting to kill you, and even if there wasn't one, you wouldn't be able to get your way back out. You cannot dig a hole through the way bottom of the screen. And now he's climbing up and coming after me. Sometimes there are three enemies and sometimes there are four. I think maybe at, at some points in the game there might be five. You will get an extra life at uh, certain point values, I think 50,000. After completing three stages, you will see new enemies. Yeah, this game gets real tough in a hurry. Uh, there are 30 stages, like I said, and once you beat all 30 stages, then um, you will start the game all over. You will start the stages all over, although they count as stage 31, uh, 32, and so on. They will be the same as uh, the first time around. Yeah, contact with an enemy is fatal, and the game's collision detection isn't super forgiving, as far as I could tell. Just, just even a slight brush with an enemy pixel seems to be uh, fatal. <laughs> The enemies, uh, they have fetching uh, artificial intelligence the way that they come after you. You will have to take great care um, making sure that you can dig your way out of an area that you would, could uh, easily trap yourself in. Note that there are kind of uh, monkey bars. There's a, a long... Uh, horizontal line that I'm on right now and you can uh, shimmy to the left or right on it and you can press down when you're on it to just drop straight down and sorry the uh, the uh, recording got a little glitchy there but yeah make sure that you that you dig holes well ahead of time when enemies are are following you if you uh, do it too late, you won't be able to dig a hole because they're going to be standing on that ground. And you trying to dig that hole can, uh, can uh, delay you enough for them to catch up with you. Oops, ran out of time. Like I said, that uh, time meter, it's in blue, then later on it turns yellow, and then later on it turns red and you will get the uh, double bonus for it being yellow and triple bonus for it being blue a uh, triple or double time remaining bonus so it'll count down the bonus uh, time remaining two or three times I think you can get a little bit of extra bonus points if you have like two two bars of gold like right next to each other that, that, that you collect one right after the other. Whoa! And, and again, you can walk right over their heads once uh, you make them fall in the holes. Yeah, if you're, if you're about to descend in a kind of enclosed area, think before you do so. Because you might accidentally drop down and then you can't dig your way out. The game will tell you um, something like, you will, you will have to die. Can't remember what it says exactly, but uh, something like that. <laughs> kind of a creepy little message. We'll look at that later. This game was suggested by YouTube user Nathan Williams, and uh, he also suggested uh, Load Runner 3, and we will have a look at that. And there will be uh, one other um, 
one other request. Yeah, if I drop down here, then the enemies will, will come after me and I'll be trapped and get killed. And that was the way I needed to go. And something I didn't mention that mention yet that uh, you might uh, have noticed by now is that when you kill an enemy, when they get trapped, then uh, they will reappear somewhere on the level. And uh, if you're uh, heading towards that direction, as they drop down, they can kill you quickly. Yeah, you can land on an enemy's head when you drop off a ledge and not die. It's kind of useful to know. Uh, oftentimes it looks like you cannot collect uh, gold in certain places, but you really can. You just need to think. Um, dropping off that ladder to the left to try to collect that that gold pile will not work. You have to drop straight down on it from above. There we go. I had never played any of the uh, uh, Load Runner games in the arcade. I'd never seen any arcade ones. I just uh, discovered them through MAME. There was this, uh, the original Load Runner and Load Runner 3 for the arcades, as well as a version called Load Runner The Dig Fight, released in 2000. I have a video on that if you're interested. Yeah, the NES port is fantastic. It, uh, it has, I think it had 50 levels. Maybe I had more, I can't remember. But, uh, it also let you, uh, create your own levels. Uh, this game was originally created by Doug Smith. And uh, it was released on... Oh, I ran out of time again. It was originally released on, uh, I think it was the Spectrum? Um, a system I'm not familiar with at all. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's get that gold back. I would like to do another uh, uh, home system review. I was uh, close to being able to do the uh, Vectrex, but uh, there's some things that don't don't quite want to work right in it. I remember uh, seeing that on a on a demo at a uh, video store at a, a video rental uh, store back in the uh, early mid '80s, and you would hear it playing uh, Mindstorm. Whoops, I didn't grab that. That was kind of dumb. You would hear it playing uh, Mindstorm throughout the store. I miss the old uh, video store days. Especially uh, some of the ones that had like really obscure horror movie tapes. <laughs> I was always going right to the uh, horror section. Getting, uh, getting a look at all the uh, cheesy artwork on the video covers. <laughs> some of the boxes were ginormous. Like I said, if you get three trapped, one right after another, then you will get a nice big bonus for walking over all their heads. Yeah, there, there might be multiple uh, places where these uh, monsters can uh, reappear from, or respawn, or whatever. Whoa! Ah! stupid. 
we will eventually see me uh, showing just where all the gold is and where you start and where the monsters start and where the uh, where the final ladder will appear from I didn't I didn't use my brain very well on this stage um, I got down to like one gold and I couldn't couldn't figure out how to dig dig down into it without trapping myself but I just it's very possible I just didn't think Sometimes you gotta kind of mess with the uh, AI of the enemies to goad them into uh, dropping down to a certain area before they can reach you. And again, look for the enemies to be flashing. If they are, they're carrying some of the gold. And you'll want to make them fall into a hole so that you can get that gold back. Yeah, later, a little later on in this video, we will see me uh, just showing off the beginning of a stage that I will not actually play through just because that would take too damn long, and I probably wouldn't be able to, to beat it anyway. And then uh, I will also show the uh, intermission scenes where they show... Whoop, damn it, I thought I could walk over all three of them. Nope. Uh, eventually, I will show the intermission intermission scenes that show the uh, next enemies that you will face. And again, that happens every three stages. And I got on the high score list. Second place. You can continue at the beginning of the stage where you died at. And every death starts you way back at the beginning and brings back all the gold, which really sucks. And here's if you get trapped, the game will tell you, tell you, you are bound to die. Just like uh, Tom Dooley in the song. <laughs> but uh, we'll scoot forward to me beating that. You can get a special bonus for not killing any enemies or trapping them. Yeah, there's a, there's a look at the next stage. Uh, and where all the gold is. And where that special ladder is that appears once you've collected all the gold. I put the gold on the screen uh, with... I, I used MS Paint. It looks a little cheesy if you look closely. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to show what it looks like with uh, where all the gold is on each stage, uh, where the enemies are, what type of enemies you'll be facing, what they look like, uh, where you start, and where that special ladder will be once you've uh, collected all the gold. I did a little bit of a playthrough on, I think, the next couple stages or something. I put on invincibility. Whoops, yeah, they they get to be a little little too fast for you to be able to walk over all three. I'll scoot forward to me uh, beating the stage. And this one is is way too hard for me to be able to beat it. I'm just not not uh, not quite good enough at this. <laughs> to, so I scooted forward to me being able to uh, climb out of there. And there's uh, the next stage. And uh, you saw the one ladder, th the or the ladder that reaches way to the top of the screen, that will be the uh, final uh, ladder that will appear once you've collected all the gold. And now our enemies are diamonds. Weird. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that one, that one ladder that reaches all the way to the top, that's the uh, final ladder. But we're just going to look at the what the remainder of the stages leading up to uh, 30 look like. And you have to you have to let the enemies collect the gold all the gold up top there and trap them and get the gold back. You have no way to get to that uh, platform way up there. Oh, uh, uh, more diamonds, I guess, or maybe these are the diamonds. I 
I have a kind of smaller screen to look at, so maybe I didn't uh, see him right. But uh, at any rate, uh, there's the the diamond enemies. Diamonds in a uh, maze or a uh, puzzle game make me think of uh, um, Boulder Dash, <laughs> but you can't collect these diamonds; they'll kill you. But these are, I'm like a, like I said, I'm just showing where the gold piles are and where that final ladder is. Some of the enemies in this game uh, make return appearances from uh, Load Runner Arcade Game 1. The, uh, the next sequel in the series was called... Um, oh... I forget what it was called. But at any rate, uh, the one after that, I believe, was called. Uh, oh, oh, I think it was Go Load Runner Three: The Golden Labyrinth, or something like that. But this game is both known as Load Runner: The Bungling Strikes Back, also known as uh, Load Runner Two: The Bungling Strikes Back. And the bungling, I guess, is the uh, empire of monsters, different types of monsters that are trying to uh, protect the gold from you. And again, those non-brick floors, you cannot dig through those. And uh, later on in the game, you might actually uh, uncover the enemies by breaking bricks. <laughs> hey, look at that Irem Corp. <laughs> Kind of cool. I like when uh, special messages or words or something are shown in uh, like floor pa floor patterns in games or something, or or various characters from other games make cameos or something. Here's the next uh, next enemies we'll face. But yeah, some of these enemies appeared in the first Load Runner arcade game. And that's apparently a woman in a swimsuit, uh, kind of laying on her side. Very uh, crudely done, but <laughs> whatever. But we're uh, we're almost to the end of uh, uh, Load Runner Two. What stage is this? I'm trying to see. It's kind of hard. The uh, pictures are a, a little a little bit. Low on the low res side, it's hard for me to see the the round number, but we're almost to the end. The uh, following sequel, Load Runner: The Golden Labyrinth, Labyrinth, also has thirty stages, I believe. Sometimes I can't tell what the uh, whether the the May's pattern is trying to spell something out. But, um, now we're going to see, uh, the next. Is this the next enemies? Yeah. I think this is, uh, this is the last uh, few stages. And then, like I said, the whole game uh, restarts. And they just call it like stage 31, 32, 33, but they, it's it's actually stage one, two, and three, or whatever, you know. Yeah, I apologize. I'm just not nearly good enough to to do a full playthrough or anything. There's plenty of those on uh, on YouTube anyway. <laughs> And this is the uh, ending here. We'll see that statue uh, collapse. But uh, yeah, the stages, the stages repeat after this from the beginning.
but uh, again, this was suggested by YouTube user Nathan Williams, and this is Load Runner: The Bungling Strikes Back, or Load Runner 2: The Bungling Strikes Back, created by IRAM in 1984. Well, I thank you for watching, and I hope you join me for my next request. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.